welcome to Montgomery College again. And we're very excited for this wonderful opportunity for your family, uh, specifically for our, our students. And so our nursing program um, here at the college is our largest health science program. Um, to date, we have 477 nursing students, and we have over 3,500 students that are going through the process of completing their prerequisites at each of the three campuses. But our students who are um, actively enrolled in our nursing courses are t completing their coursework here at the Tacoma Park Silver Spring Campus. Our students in all of our health science programs um, that we're gonna share about today um, have a didactic portion where it's classroom experiences. They have on-campus labs, so we have um, several lab areas in the building for students to practice their skills before they go out to their clinical rotations. And so with our clinical rotations, our students are um, caring for real patients out in the community. So when we look at our health science programs and our coursework, we're not just looking at what's happening in a textbook, we're bringing it to, bringing it to life in our on-campus labs, and then we're bringing it out to our community by providing direct patient care. So with our health science programs, upon completing their associate's degree, and then the students will get their high school diploma, they will then um, prepare themselves for either licensure or certification, which all of our health science programs, we begin that prep work day one when they begin their coursework in our programs. We want to make sure that they are ready to sit for the RN licensure and their certifications um, based on their program. Um, and we take the time with the students and provide them uh, coaching from our faculty and staff, as well as prep work through the standardized testing process to make sure that our students are successful in their certifications. And so with our nursing program, our current licensure pass rate is 87%. And with our um, other health science programs, we're very proud that 100% of them are completing their certifications, and many of them before they even graduate. That is very important for our health science students because the next step after completing their program here with us at Montgomery College, 100% of them we're expecting to go out into the workforce. Um, and then um, many of our hospitals and our affiliate um, outpatient clinics and services that are offered for patients, many of those employers offer uh, tuition remission or tuition reimbursement for them to go on for advanced degrees. So as you notice here on our slides, we don't emphasize the word transfer. We talk more about academic progression because here you'll have your associate's degree and then we would like to support you all in going on for your bachelor's degree. So it's not really seen as a true transfer, it's more of academic progression. And the other beauty, beautiful part of it is our students are leaving with those strong credentials um, and many of them scaffold their uh, credentials so that they can be even more marketable when it's time for employment. Um, so some of the universities in the area where we have partnerships um, with our RN registered nurse onto a bachelor's degree um, and they're all listed here, but the one that's uh, very near and dear to our heart is the partnership that we have with University of Maryland. And we um, work with our nursing students to make sure that they've made a decision upon graduation as to where they go next for their bachelor's degree. So we're very fortunate that we have a um, academic progression manager in nursing that meets with all of our students beginning that very first semester to engage them with where would they like to go on for their bachelor's degree. So where do nurses work? Um, hospitals, um, we are very unique here at Montgomery College. This is a gem fact for you all to take home with you. We are the only community college in the United States that has a hospital on its campus, and that is the Holy Cross a Germantown Hospital on our Germantown campus. So our students have a beautiful opportunity to go to Holy Cross here in Silver Spring and the Germantown um, Hospital that's on our campus to provide patient care along with all of the other hospitals that are in our area. So our students uh, seek employment in acute care hospitals. They also go to long-term care, nursing rehab uh, facilities. Um, home care is a thriving industry. Um, many uh, patients are going home earlier. They're not staying in the hospitals as long. So our nurses are providing direct care in patients' homes. 
And then school nursing. I'm sure our students may know who their school nurse is or may have encountered the school nurse. And it's a, it's a great partnership for us to have our graduates uh, serving in our county schools. So our next program that we're gonna talk about is diagnostic medical sonography. Um, so with our diagnostic medical sonography, we have three tracks. One is the general tract, um, which also includes um, the abdominal. So if anyone's having a baby and they're gonna have an ultrasound, this is what these uh, technicians would service they would provide. Um, we also have a vascular tract, so looking at all of your blood vessels. And then we also have an echo tract, which is specifically looking at um, sonograms of your heart. So students have the opportunity of picking and choosing which track is, is best for them. And um, we connect them through theory and lab and clinical. Again, we have an academic um, progression transfer model here for these students. And as you can see, just here in the area, we have some that are very close by with Towson, Notre Dame, and University of Maryland. Sonographers work in the hospital and they work in outpatient centers. Physical therapist assistant. This is an awesome program where students have the uh, fun time of helping patients to get back on their feet, literally and figuratively. So here with our um, physical therapy assistant program, many of our students um, spend time in long-term care facilities for clinical and the um, National Rehab Hospital. They also have clinical in all of our hospitals as well as our Germantown campus. But the focus here is really to get students engaged in providing care alongside a physical therapist. Our students go on to Towson and to University of Maryland. I've mentioned here um, about the hospitals and long-term rehab uh, facilities. Um, but there are also outpatient facilities where patients are at home, but they're going in for physical therapy a couple days a week. So they may be well enough to be back at home and with their families. And so um, many of our students work in the outpatient setting. Radiologic technology. This is the x-ray. I'm sure if anyone has been on a skateboard, fell down, broke an elbow, something like that, you are familiar with x-ray. So many of our students are fully aware of what nurses do and they're fully aware about x-ray, um, but usually diagnostic medical sonography and physical therapy assistant, I have to you know, share a little bit more. But with x-ray, most people are fully aware of, of what that industry is. And so we're very fortunate that in our health science center, again, all of the technology that the students would um, use while they're out in the clinical setting, we have those same technologies here on campus. So for our students who are doing nursing, who are doing diagnostic medical sonography, we have a humongous um, therapy room in our phys um, physical therapy uh, suite. And then we have uh, fully functioning equipment that we can take x-rays of each other. Um, now the radiation part of it, we've been able to remove. So there's no uh, issues with uh, radiation exposure while these x-rays are happening. Um, and then when our students are going out to the clinical site, we do track the amount of um, x-ray exposure that the students have. So we cover those expenses for students so it's no charge to them as well. So our students, as you can see, we have great partnerships, Notre Dame, Towson, University of Maryland. Um, and again, it is our goal that students have a um, academic progression plan upon graduation. So they have their degree in hand, they will have their high school diploma in hand, they will be ready for certification if they've not already completed it by graduation. They will be lined up with a job in place and we um, like to have them uh, have a specific plan for that academic progression onto that bachelor's degree when they leave us. So we're pretty busy for two years with your students. All right, and so here's where our students are working, acute care settings and in outpatient settings. All right, the last program on a, I'm going to talk about is our surgical technology program. And so this program um, is a little unique with our Previous health science programs, you'll spend your one year doing your prerequisite courses. Then you'll spend uh, four semesters in those health science programs. So it'll be one additional year after completing high school. But with our surgical technology program, you'll do the one year of your prerequisites and then the year of your senior year, 
you will complete the surgical technology program. Often students like to refer to Gray's Anatomy and say, oh, I want to you know, work in the OR. Um, but we put you in a real OR, so it's not just what you see on TV. Um, so you have your classes. We have two fully functional operating room areas in the Health Science Center, so students um, practice on our mannequins, and then they go out to clinical um, and assist with actual surgeries while they're in our program. And so our students continue their education going on to Towson and to University of Maryland. And so they work in our acute care hospitals and they work in outpatient surgery centers. And surprisingly, there are more outpatient surgery centers um, showing up all across the Washington DC metropolitan area. So um, for all of our health science programs, our students, um, they're usually turning down job offers versus um, some of our other industries where students are looking hard for jobs. Um, there's such a, um, a great relationship with our graduates in the community that um, our employers come on site, they wanna do interviews right here, they in, um, get to meet our students while they're out in the clinical site. So oftentimes students may have two or three job offers even before they complete the programs with us. So they have to you know, have the luxury of picking and choosing where they may wanna work, which is really phenomenal. Okay, so I think that's my time, but it, we're um, really happy that you're here and you're interested in these programs. <laughs>